Hi, everyone. My name is Anthony Org, and I'm the Partnership Manager here at Sobo Ship Compliant. I have the pleasure of working with our integrated technology partners that enable DTC shippers to leverage real-time, alcohol-specific tax sites and compliance checks at the time of transaction, and much more. This is the first edition of our Partner Spotlight Series, which is meant to highlight our partners, showcase what they offer, and look at how their integration works with the Sobo Ship Compliant. In this first edition of our Partner Spotlight, I'm happy to have Patrick Stroud and Kevin McFadden from Bloom join me today. Patrick, Kevin, could you guys introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure thing, Anthony. Um, hey, I'm Patrick Stroud. Um, I'm the co-founder and president of Bloom. And my primary role here is to really run the product team to make sure that our app and all the websites that we build uh, meet the, the requirements of our customers. Yeah, Anthony, thanks for having us here today. I'm Kevin McFadden. I'm the Director of Business Development for Bloom. Essentially, my role is primarily sales development, um, looking for, for new clients for Bloom for the platform and um, managing the sales uh, and business development processes. Awesome. Well, I've certainly enjoyed the collaboration uh, over the past few years, and, and thanks for joining today. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's start at the beginning. Um, tell folks about Bloom. How did it get started, uh, and what are you guys doing today? Yeah, I can answer that one. Um, so Bloom is really kind of two things. We're not only a, a creative services firm and, and actually a Shopify Plus agency, but we've also developed a Shopify app that provides a really advanced club and membership solution for the wine industry. And, you know, I mentioned Shopify there a couple of times. I think the important thing is, is that um, Shopify is the e-commerce system that powers our, our system on our side. Um, and that kind of, you know, allows us to be in, in a fairly particular niche, right? We have a lot of customers who are already on the Shopify platform who are, are coming to us who need our services. As far as where we got started, you know, we've been a digital agency for close to 25 years now and have worked with lots of different size businesses, you know, from small mom and pop all the way up to, you know, Boeing, Nestle, like really large enterprise companies. But our focus has always kind of been really over the last 10 years, more on the e-commerce side and more on really on the wine industry side too. One of our main um, customers at the agency was the Washington State Wine Commission, where we've been working with them for the last 11 years to build out their full backend system and their website and everything. So we kind of fell in love with the wine industry here in Washington State. And that was really kind of the, the impetus to, to starting Bloom. We, we wanted to help uh, the wineries here around us and found an opportunity. And that's really kind of how we got started. And it's interesting because, you know, it's true. We originally started out focusing on predominantly wine, but we've learned over the years that these same issues are common across all the different alcohol industry verticals, wine, beer, cider, spirits. And and Anthony, it's really been ship compliant and our partnership with you that's been a big part of that ability for us to be able to bridge into those different categories and bring us, um, you know, opportunities with clients that are, you know, looking to, to be in different verticals that we haven't worked in before and create solutions for them. Yeah, the, the DTC landscape is certainly uh, grown into other areas and, and there's a lot of room for, for more growth. So. Um, what would you say that sets Bloom apart for, from others, really? Yeah, I think it's a it's really a handful of things. I mean, number one, we're not just selling software or software licenses to use our product. I mean, we are we are the creators of Bloom. We are the implementers of Bloom. We are the um, you know the future developers of Bloom. Um, secondly, we're, a, as you know, as Patrick mentioned, we're a full service digital marketing agency. So we have all sorts of services in our tool belt, um, to really help our clients out. We can provide a complete turnkey e-commerce solution for wineries or, you know, as we mentioned, uh, customers in other, uh, of the industry verticals. And then, of course, there's the fact that we're doing all of this on the Shopify platform, which, you know, makes us unique and is a, a big reason why um, we're getting a lot of the interest uh, in our business today. Yeah, I think we're actually 
last I checked, I think we're the only company doing this, um, out, you know, alcohol sales on the Shopify platform. There might be one other small outfit in, um, in Australia who's getting into it, mm -hmm. but um, I know that we are the only Shopify Plus agency in this particular uh, niche. So that does kind of funnel everyone to us, you know, which is, which is great. Yeah, it's certainly, especially to, um, while there might be others internationally, definitely in, in the U.S., I'd say uh, you guys are certainly the one to go to uh, for, for any Shopify needs. Um, so let's dive into the integration a little bit. Can you tell folks a little bit uh, at a high level, you know, how does it work and, um, you know, what's the basic functionality and benefits of, of using the integration between Silva Ship Compliant and Bloom? Yeah, sure thing. Um, I can talk to that a little bit. So we are a platinum certified uh, ship compliant partner. So we've, you know, we've checked a lot of the boxes as far as like what's expected and what's required there. But one of the cool things about what our product does that might be a little bit different from others is that um, the Bloom application actually will sync up Shopify products with products within ship compliant. So that saves a lot of time and energy for customers who have already created their products in one or the other platforms, and they don't have to recreate them necessarily. They just have to add a couple bits of data to make sure that they sync up. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing you know, about how, the, how it works is when orders come into Shopify, we run them through a bunch of different processes. One of them is checking for compliance if they have the ship compliant integration turned on. And so we immediately reach out to ship compliant, you know, send all the order information. Uh, we receive a response back from ship compliant on whether or not it's compliant or not. If it is, that's great. We have the thumbs up, you know, we commit the order in and then ship compliant takes it from there for reporting and fulfillment purposes. If it isn't compliant, we get that, you know, error message back from ship compliant and we report that um, on the order. Uh, to our customers. And of course, orders are tagged, so they're easily searched. So you can actually, you know, find all of the, the orders that need to be possibly rechecked for compliance or fixed if needed. Um, you know, there's there's the occasional case where maybe someone's ordered too much wine and they just need to reduce it down from a case to six bottles or something and then recommit that order. So it really is like a full end-to-end -end, uh, integration. Um, I guess the other thing to note too is that once the the fulfillment provider sends the shipment status and tracking code into ship compliant, then we automatically grab that and mark our orders as fulfilled and provide the tracking information, which, you know, immediately sends out all the shipment notification emails from Shopify. So it is a, a really robust uh, solution and um, we're excited to, you know, continue to develop on it. There's always, seems like there's always something we can do to enhance it. So looking forward to doing that. Yeah, it's always um, it's always a really interesting phone call with potential clients who, you know, maybe have been uh, referred to us by Anthony or someone on his team um, to sit down and have a talk with them to explain how the integration works, because I think they see it as this really complicated landscape of information having to flow back and forth. And when you, um, you know, when you could just take them into a Shopify demo session and show them where the messages show up and show them where the tags are showing up and how the information is flowing. There's almost like this, uh, almost, almost like a sense of relief where they kind of realize, okay, so that's what it's doing. And it's fairly straightforward and it's not rocket science. And, uh, it's, it's a, it's a very effective solution that solves a lot of problems, uh, from a technological standpoint and automates it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think also too, the, the first thing that you mentioned that that product sync, uh, reducing that manual entry, you know, for, for our end client it is huge, especially when it comes to implementation, if they're launching new products. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's a seamless integration from our end as well. And, uh, one, it's also pretty easy to set up. Uh, so you kind of touched on this a little bit, you know, we're, um, you know, where we're now working with breweries, distilleries, cideries, um, what would you say, you know, who's a good, uh, fit for your products and services? And, uh, can you share a success story on top of that as well? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take that. So I think ideally, um, 
kind of the defining characteristic is we're looking for companies that want to put their customer slash user experience like at the top of the list of things they want out of their e-commerce business. Um, and that's really what the whole fundamental, you know, perspective of Shopify is. Why can't buying a bottle of wine online be as easy as it is for me to buy a pair of pants? Um, and that's, that's really what we're trying to deliver um, for these vendors in this market space. Um, and, you know, on top of that, in the end, it's entirely not about just selling alcohol. Um, it's about uh, wrapping all of the components together and making it almost product agnostic in terms of what you're buying and how you're buying it. Um, you just, there's a product and you want to buy it and you want to get it shipped to you and, and it, it should happen as easily and with as little footsteps and roadblocks as possible. Um, so it's really about putting all those pieces together um, and, you know, making it a successful platform. Um, to that point, I think to me, one of the most interesting success stories we've had is we now have a client that's using Bloom and they don't even sell alcohol. Um, they are members of a wine club that uses our software and they enjoyed how it works so much that they're now using Bloom to run an olive oil and vinegar club, um, which, you know, doesn't get into the alcohol space at all. Uh, they just like how the platform works. And so at some point, our solution is really a membership uh, management platform as opposed to, a you know, an alcohol DTC platform. So it's just been interesting to watch the the advancement and the migration of the features and benefits into different areas. When I think about success too, I I don't necessarily think about a, a single like customer who's been successful with the platform, but more about the the group of customers who what I call they get it, right? They they can see the the broad view of the entire ecosystem. So it's not just like Kevin said, it's not just about like creating the ability for someone to purchase wine online. With Shopify, there are so many different um, applications that you can plug into it that just expands, you know, almost exponentially what you can do with the platform. So I'm talking about things like integrating just about any um, digital marketing platform into the system. And there's companies like Klaviyo and MailChimp who have already built like really strong integrations with it. You think about things like um, in-person or today virtual experiences, right? There's there's applications that allow you to extend your sales channels into experiences like that. You have loyalty programs like Yapo and Smile.io. Those are, you know, also like tightly, tightly integrated into the system. And then for the bigger customers, the ones who want to integrate with ERP and CRM and, you know, those type of inventory management systems, order management systems, customer data platforms, all of that Shopify is kind of built for it. And it's, you know, the, the customers who I really think are succeeding on the platform have embraced that aspect of it and are utilizing all those in a very strategic way to really help them grow their business. So it seems like the, the Shopify ecosystem, if it's, if someone has a, has a problem, there's a solution to it. Is that a, a good way to sum it up? Yeah, it's a good way to sum it up. And, you know, ship compliant fits into that as well, right? It's like, if you're using ship compliant, then boom, there's, we have, we've got the integration. So it's, it's, it's really, yeah, just about anything you, you can imagine that you want to do, you can do it on the platform. You just have to have that, have that vision and have the. The, the desire to kind of step back a little bit from what you've been doing in the past, maybe, and forward think, you know, four or five years and ask yourself, what do we really want to be in four or five years? And then use the platform and ecosystem to get you there. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a, a good segue actually into the next question I, I had is, um, you know, what advice would you give someone who's one, uh, you know, first starting to sell alcohol, uh, DTC, or someone who's, you know, looking to make changes uh, and grow their DTC channel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of relates to what I was talking about, I guess, is that there isn't like a really a magic bullet or like, you know, here's the solution if you want to 
start selling alcohol online. It really does, in our opinion, and you know, based on experience of having a digital agency for close to 25 years and just understanding the complexities of, of growing a business, um, it, it really requires several things to be happening at the same time, and they all need to be done pretty well together. Um, you know, starting with building trust with your customer on the, all of your channels outside of e-commerce, right? So your marketing channels, your social media, engaging with them wherever you might be at trade shows or whatever. Um, you have to build, like, build trust that is in kind of in an authentically engaging way, right? And then once you've engaged them, you kind of brought them in, the experience that they have on your website or on your landing page or wherever you're building has to be top notch. It has to sell your brand. It has to reflect the brand message. It has to tell a story. It has to draw them in and hopefully convert them to a customer. And then after that, and that's kind of, in my opinion, kind of the easy part. It's like getting them to the web and having them purchase something is, is the easy part of all this. But mm -hmm. after that, there's like the whole, the customer journey just has to continue. It's nurturing that customer into maybe getting them to sign up for a wine club so they're a recurring customer, right? Or better yet, turning them into an evangelist so they're actually talking about your product and um, talking about how great your brand is. So it's it's you being able to have a platform um, who that can kind of encapsulate all of those things in one place and, and, and help you with all of those steps along the customer journey. Um, and how, you know, what that looks like at the end of the day is very different for every other customer. Um, but, you know, I, I would say if, if you're really to really wanting to look at selling alcohol online, it's not just setting up a shop and putting some products there. It's thinking about your customer from the very first touch point all the way through, you know, hopefully a 10 year relationship with them and how you're going to nurture them. As far as growth goes, like, you know, if you're already there and growing it, um, I would say invest in a good marketing strategy. Find an agency or a company who's who's really good at at coming up with what the right strategy is for your business based on your goals and objectives, and then from there create super unique creative content that supports your brand. I think if you know if you're already doing a good job on um, you know just the basics of DTC really zeroing in on that marketing strategy and that content and, you know, providing, you know, interesting, you know, customizable, flexible ways for those customers to interact with that content, maybe create memberships, maybe create subscriptions. Um, yeah, really kind of taking it from a strategic standpoint, I think is really the best approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's all, that's all great advice. And, um, seems to all start at, at that trust step, right? Building uh, trust with your customer first. So um, what else do you want folks to know about Bloom? Uh, what's on the horizon for you guys? What, what's uh, uh, new and upcoming? Um, I think it's really important to us. <clears throat> I mean, in terms of what we want people to know is that um, it's really important to us that our clients see and recognize the amount of value in the services that we're providing. That's really, again, that, that that's also part of that whole trust piece. Um, and, you know, it, honestly, we, we understand that we might not be the right fit for everyone. Um, you know, and that's, that's just a reality of, of, you know, this sector. Um, we pride ourselves in being really transparent about uh, everything and um, also if we're the right fit or not. And um, we believe that, we're, you know, if we're all aligned, then, you know, hey, the sky's the limit on what we can, we can accomplish. And, and we, uh, we over, you know, almost overarching all of that, it's we want to all be moving in the same direction and the right direction together. That those are the best, um, those are the best projects. Those are the most successful projects. Those are the most fun projects is when we're all, when we're all working that, um, working that together. And that's when the most, uh, capability can come out as well. Um, you know, as far as what's on the horizon, uh, Patrick, maybe you want to share a little bit about, um, you know, kind of our roadmap. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, before that, uh, just to follow up a little bit on what you were saying there, Kevin, um, I think it's also important for, 
customers to understand that, you know, I mentioned earlier, like thinking four or five years ahead, like really think about where you want to be. That is our mindset. And so we have a lot of customers moving from other platforms, you know, that maybe they've been using them for eight or 10 years. And um, it's really important that that kind of, we, we call it sort of the, the legacy mindset can be to a degree left behind. And what you're doing now is you're, you're, you're committing yourself to something that's very different and very forward and future thinking. And if people know that before they start talking to us, then I think that helps the conversation go a lot better because what we can't do is replicate what you were using in the past. But what we can do is provide something that is um, honestly probably very different from what you're used to, but can definitely meet your business objectives and, and your goals. So it's, I think that's an important thing to mention as well. Um, as far as our roadmap goes, you know, it's, it's one of those things that seems like it's constantly changing. Um, working with Shopify is, is awesome. You know, they provide so much to us, but at the same time, they have a roadmap too that we have to follow. And even being a partner with them, they aren't always, you know, 100% clear on exactly where they're headed. So oftentimes our roadmap is following their roadmap. But like a good example is, is um, earlier this year, they launched their new subscriptions API, which just like completely changes the way that we want to do our subscriptions as well and really leverage that, which then ties into the like the true allocation models that we've been um, working on for the last couple of years to defining what that looks like. So when we think of allocations, we think of things like allocating wines um, to members in a very kind of specific like, customer segmentation perspective. Um, so if you're, you know, a customer who's been in the club for five plus years, who spends, you know, more than $2,000 a year, um, who likes our red wines over our white wines, there could be some intelligence in there that's going to allocate you wine um, specifically to those those preferences that you have. Um, and then again, using those customer segments for other things as well, like marketing. Um, and then we're also like actively developing our new point of sale app right now. Um, and so that's going to be another, I think, pretty big win for us towards the end of this year when that launches. But, you know, it, it, I, I guess in a nutshell, I still feel like even after working on this for five years, we're still kind of in our infancy. <laughs> we thinking five years ahead, we have really big plans and are super excited to, to continue, you know, partnering with ship compliant and, um, yeah, really making this, uh, you know, one of the best platforms that you can use. Awesome. Yeah. It seems like, uh, there's a lot coming up and in, in the near future and in the next five years. So how do folks, uh, stay in touch with you guys? How do they, um, you know, uh, go to you for more information? Where can they find you? Hey, you can uh, check us out at bloom.wine, read through our information there. Um, we've got a web chat that you can utilize through the website there, uh, fill out a contact form on the site, um, give us a phone call, uh, hit Patrick or, or I up on LinkedIn. Um, and then of course, you know, for people that are already talking to Anthony, you and your team and ship compliant about their services, of course, you know, as we've already done in the past, you know, we can get get in touch with each, with each other that way as well. So we're really uh, appreciative of, of the the channel that we've been able to uh, put together between our teams and and help help lots of people out. Yeah, absolutely. The collaboration uh, has been great and, and looking forward to more. Um, Patrick, Kevin, thank you both so much for your time today, sharing more about Bloom and uh, letting us dive into things a little bit. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Anthony. Yep.